Interpreting Titian's Rape of Europa, the story. For the rest of the essay, Eaton focuses primarily on interpreting a work of art that she does find morally reprehensible. This is a famous work entitled The Rape of Europa, painted by Titian in 1562. The story is a depiction of a Greek myth, also adapted by the Romans. The story has different iterations, but the basic account is that Jupiter, called Zeus by the Greeks, is enamored by Europa's beauty. Seemingly unable to court her by fair means, he turns himself into a bull. Europa approaches the bull and befriends it. When Europa climbs onto the bull's back, the bull jumps into the water and carries the terrified Europa away from those appointed to protect her. On the island of Crete, Jupiter makes Europa his wife. How to approach the story according to Eaton. We can now see why this is an important essay for feminist criticism. The ethical value of this painting, according to Eaton, would not be based on the author of the painting, the situation the painting was created in, the ethical nature of what is being depicted, or the effect of the painting on us. To know if the painting is ethical, we have to decide what ethical attitudes we are invited to have toward this ethically reprehensible act by Jupiter. Is this a case, like Picasso's Guernica, where we are being invited to despise and condemn the violence towards helpless victims? Or is it a case of celebrating an act of violence and victimhood? Eaton argues the second of these options, and she digs deep into the interpretation of specifics of the painting to argue her case. She will claim that Titan is inviting us to celebrate and enjoy this act of violence and victimization. What goes wrong, according to Eaton? Eaton draws on several bits of evidence to argue that Titan is encouraging a celebratory and sexualized response to the events depicted in this painting. She points to the cherubs who seem to be celebrating the event and to where the gaze of the cherubs is directed specifically. The warm and inviting colors of the painting, the clothing of Europa, which does not cover much, and the way that Europa is exposed and posed in a revealing way relative to the viewer. Be sure to read this section in the textbook because Eaton's depiction is as descriptive as it is unsettling, and it offers a good example of the type of work that needs to be done to interpret a work of art from a feminist perspective. Eaton's ultimate conclusion. Eaton's ultimate conclusion is that her feminist analysis of the work shows that the work itself is an ethical failure because, when rightly understood, we see that the work is inviting us to celebrate and enjoy an act of violent victimization. The work is designed to encourage these attitudes in us, and it is this fact that allows us to say that the work itself is ethically condemnable. If we adopt the perspective we are invited to adopt by the painting, we take on ethically reprehensible attitudes ourselves. As Eaton has pointed out, it is not just a matter of the tragic events depicted in the work of art, but instead of the attitude we are invited to have toward those events.